Okay, if we could please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, liberty and justice for all. Good evening, everyone. Welcome to Village of Washingtonville Village Board Meeting tonight, January 22nd. 2019 for preliminary budget for 2019-2020. Tonight we'll be looking at the multi-fund, that's the, the general fund. Um, we have scheduled another meeting for Saturday, this coming Saturday at 10 o'clock in the morning, correct? Correct. Yes. Uh, at that time, water and sewer and any adjustments that we have to make to the multi-fund will be um, addressed at that time. Really, uh, before I get started, a um, few announcements, uh, actually just two. I'd like to thank both the uh, Department of Public Works and the Police Department for the fine work that they did uh, this past storm. I know it was, uh, thank God it wasn't as big as it was, or as big as they said it would be. Um, so I'm kind of happy about that. I think we're all happy about that. And um, there was one other. It was supposed to think about a meeting you were going to do. Which on Saturday. You uh, already did. Yeah. On Saturday, Saturday. the, uh, yeah, mm -hmm. this coming Saturday at 10 o'clock. Oh, okay. I'd like to make a motion to open up the public hearing. For budget, uh, for preliminary budget. Move a motion to open the meeting. Second. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Okay. Budget that you have in front of you, like I said, it's a preliminary budget. Um, you see that the, the budget went up about six hundred thousand dollars from from last year, still keeping uh, everything without having a tax hike because we have a, a lot of incumbent, unencumbered, or incumbent money from last budget. Mm. So we're, we're really uh, financial, financially, uh, fiscally responsible this past year, and I applaud everyone that had something to do with that. Uh, Multi-fund has to do with the police department, and right here we have Police Chief Brian Zaccaro, uh, and the employees that we have, or that get credited to the police department, Sergeant Lopez, Sergeant Cerigliano, Sergeant Martin, uh, SRO, something new this year, uh, Charlie Martin, Officer uh, Josh Tremper, Jeffrey Anderson, Benjamin uh, Gerstner, Officer Thomas Santasuaso, Officer Joseph Mendez, Officer Charles Merrill, Good Officer you. Aaron Cagrado, Officer Edwin Ramos, Officer Michael Orf Orfis, Officer James Jury. Part-time officers that we've had for some time, um, Vincent uh, Beal, part-time officer Jose Santiago, part-time police officer David Pritchard. Uh, what happened now, because of the presence in the schools, uh, the board decided on the recommendation of uh, Chief Zaccaro, to hiring the next four people, James Cronin, Scott Davey, William Wilson, and Robert Karamata. Okay. Uh, they're really just for the school, but they are part-time officers, so we'll be able to use them um, for special events that we have throughout the village throughout the year. Dispatcher Maria Fleming, Cheryl Weiser, Dispatcher Paul Neiman, Crossing Guards Victor Apriel, and crossing guard Linda Steinberg, as well as the court clerk Patricia Nunes. I just put them as officers. I could. You do. Department of Public Works. Uh, Christopher Martino is our superintendent. William Mann is a working leader, uh, Al Mann, Carl Burke, Nicholas Muller, Chris, Christopher Van Riper, Kevin Schaefer, Mark Blanchett, William Pence. 
Village Hall, Christine Shankman is the village clerk. Donna Foley is part-time employee. Tony M. Hahn, part-time employee. Eric, uh, Aaron Garvey, bookkeeper. Recreation, Diane Jansons and Christine Grant. Diane Jansons is the director. The budget for 2019-2020, on the bottom we have the multi-fund, uh, 500, well, I didn't change those numbers, but that number should read uh, $5,835,941.25. Last year's budget, $5,129,900. In the sewer fund, you see the 628. In the water fund, you see the 395. Okay, the sewer fund it did increase a little bit. These are projected uh, anticipated income that the sewer will will have this coming year, along with the water fund. The water fund did drop about fifty thousand dollars. The water fund is at 395, 296. Again, anticipation of income that we will be uh, collecting on both the water and the sewer is driven off of the water funds. Village hall budget has the trustees, the mayor, village clerk, justices, court clerk, court prosecutors, the treasurer, village. Uh, contractual, whatever we have contractually, village hall security, postage, and utilities. 2019 budget was $242,706.36. 2019-20, we have $214,651. has to do with shifting some of payroll from the general fund, the multi-fund, into water and sewer. After spending uh, a lot of time in the office, I see that they do spend more time than I thought they would in water and sewer. Municipal services, attorney, act actuarial services, legal notices, website, Blackboard Connect. That's the connect end, end message that you get. Election supplies. 2019-20, um, 84,733, 2018, 19, Shared services, office supplies, telephone, gasoline, diesel, and oil, in internet, maintenance of the buildings, the insurance, drug and alcohol testing, computer supplies, auditors, IT services, and IT equipment. All of these numbers are broken down if you picked up the, uh, the budget on the table. All right, 2019. Shared services. 2019, last year's uh, budgeted amount was $321,912. This year it's $379,362. Insurance is, is very heavy. We spoke to uh, the insurance carriers that uh, figure two percent increase for this kind of Special items, which is really just contingencies, um, stayed the same. Law enforcement: the salaries are full and part time. Officer equipment, officer supplies, uniform allowance, firearm. Supplies, vehicle maintenance, utilities, computer maintenance, and supply. And this list is a lot greater uh, with the budget that you have in front of you. 
Last year's budget was $1,984,545. This year's slight increase, $2,114,735. Now this, like I said, has to do with the part-time police in the schools that we are reimbursed from uh, the school district. Public safety, parking signs and equipment. Uh, last year's budget was 12,700. This year's budget is 12,000. Code enforcement and inspection, that's the building inspector, personal services, as well as the code enforcement. Uh, just a slight increase over last year. Uh, last year we had uh, 40,150. This year it's 40,900. Parks. Vern Allen Park, uh, Village Park at Woodfield, Vern Allen Park, Memorial Park, Veterans Park, and Sewell Park at Washington Bill Green. Last year we budgeted two hundred and fifty nine thousand. Uh, this year two hundred and fifty six thousand six hundred. Uh, we are anticipating, I did not include it in the, the numbers, um, anticipating um, a grant of three hundred and eighty five thousand dollars for the inclusive park. Uh, two hundred and fifty thousand was given by Senator Walken, one hundred and thirty five thousand was given by Assemblyman Scoofus before he left the assembly to join the Senate. Highways and streets, salaries, equipment, snow removal, ocean repairs, clothing allowance, and utilities. Okay, last year we budgeted $569,773. This year, an increase to $765,139. Uh, the increase we, we could control, uh, a lot of this, a lot of this salary is going to water and sewer. Okay, uh, we were under budgeted this year. We took money from contingency of the payroll to balance everything out. Youth Recreation Program, it's, it's an adult program, body fit, as well as youth rec program, uh, both held at CYO building on uh, Route 208. Last year, the budget was $23,000. This year, budget is $24,500. Those are the numbers. It, it's, it's a net neutral. So whatever we bring in is what we, is what we spend. The village is not making money on this whatsoever. Uh, if numbers were to decrease significantly, the village board would have to make a decision. Uh, do we want to fund it, or do we want to um, do away with it? It's getting bigger, though, as we, as we speak. Culture, village, historian, supplies, and celebrations are pretty much the same as we had last year. $8,300. Um, that's for, and I have to correct what I have on there. Celebrations would be something like Witchingtonville, whatever the village did for that, or Whoville, whatever the village did for that. We could also try to combine that with um, the parades. I think it was community, community invited. Zoning and planning. I'm sorry. 
Go ahead. So under culture, last year was 8,300, this year 1,120. No, it should, be, it should be the same. Oh, it should be, okay. I'm sorry. Zoning and planning, last year we budgeted $4,500. This year we budgeted $4,360. Zoning and planning is pretty much, everything in here is pretty much paid for by applicants coming up in front of the board. There's a, um, a permit fee. Uh, all the engineering monies come out of the applicant's uh, escrow account. Sanitation, the storm sewer, and the DEC consent order that we were handed uh, this past, uh, I think it was September. Okay. And I'll have one for that. Uh, sanitation, last year we budgeted $4,000. This year we're budgeting $20,486. Um, we were cited in this consent order 